I'm joined here outside the Gaelic grounds by Claire Lidge and Cullum Horan from Clanlara, one of the great stalwarts of the great team that won the two leagues back in the in the 1970s, and of course his his son has an All Ireland medal as well. Uh, Cullum, thanks for uh, stopping up to talk to me here. We've, we've witnessed two quarter finals there, Clare and Dublin. We we, we talk about first. Uh, what was your take on it? Well, it was an, uh, an interesting game because it, people were kind of slightly nervous, I suppose, coming in from a Clare point of view, how would they respond to the, the defeat in the Munster final, which was a hard one to take. Yeah. And uh, an unknown quantity, I suppose, in Dublin. We didn't haven't played them for ages. So the first 30 minutes was flat enough. They were kind of feeling each other out. And uh, there were mistakes, some bad mistakes from both teams, missing first touch and balls slipping past and dropping balls. But um, I thought Fitzgerald played very well for the last, last five or six minutes of the first half, broke their half back line, went through, opened them up. We, we got you know, three outstanding goals in, in rapid succession, and that kind of settled us big time. Half time, it looked like, yeah, okay, clear, are obviously way better. Start second half, same thing, started with a couple of quick scores. and. The game uh, kind of peeled out after that. But yeah. it, uh, <coughs> there was a sign of nervousness, I suppose, and apprehension in the beginning. Yeah, and you would expect, I suppose, was, we had 4-8 on the, on the board at half-time, and we had yes. another one after half-time. Yes. Three from Tony Kelly, uh, one from Shane O'Donnell. Mm. Um, where did the other go? So, oh, Mark Rogers said it's yeah, a fair game, 1-7 oh. from play, along with his freeze. Uh, uh, so, you know, it, it was just a... Everybody in the forwards really produced. Peter Duggan did a lot of work, I thought, as well. There. I thought Peter worked very, very hard. And it was when we started pushing the ball to the inside line that we really caused them problems. Uh, winning clean, uh, Donald I thought was superb, winning clean ball and, and opening them up. Peter Duggan fought very hard, broke ball, and we were on to the breaking ball. Kelly came onto the ball very quickly at pace. Dublin were able to cope with that pace. Yes. Same with Rogers and, and Ian Galvin now and again, too. And we could have scored more, you know, we could have scored more, but, you know, we were, ha we were happy with it, really. The last kind of ten minutes of the game, these were out a small bit, it's a contest, you know. Yeah. Uh, Darrell Lohan uh, started at the full back line, uh, mm. and, and again, a man without that much experience, yeah, we won that twice. Yeah, very, very yeah. good lad. Like, yeah. Sutcliffe is a, is a super hurler, very, yeah. very good in the air. Won an awful lot of first, term, first touch possession. Didn't damage us as much as he might have. He thought he was playing a little bit closer to goal because, <clears throat> in fairness, Lohan did keep goal side of him and, and, and yeah, forced, he did, yeah. forced poor plenty of shots out of him. But gee, yeah. he, he won an awful lot because he got a good few frees as well. Yeah, David McInerney didn't start. That's a bit of a worry, James. Yeah. We we'll, we we'll really need yeah. him to take down yeah. that Kilkenny. Do we need everyone back now? Yeah. We, no, don't look, we really do need everyone yeah. back to the Kilkenny match. Yeah, we lost John Conlon to a head injury in the first half as well, and that's very worrying. Uh, deja vu, we were missing him last year as well, mm -hmm. so that's he's right. got his two weeks to recover. But a head injury, I'm not sure what the protocol is with a well, concussion there, or whatever. Yeah, there would be a two week uh, yeah. review of that, and he'd be monitored for the first week, and it would be a back to play protocol a little bit along the lines of what they do in the rugby. Yeah. So. It really depends on the, the diagnosis of the injury and, the, and yeah. that'll give us a, an idea, you know, it will be tomorrow or, or two so before we know. A bit of a plus as we saw Conor Cleary out there at the, yeah. the warm-up and he hit the ball, so <laughs> at least he's moving anyway. Yeah. And, and great to see David Reedy, his first touch was excellent when he came on and uh, I think he flashed over a pint or two. Mm. So, and uh, you know, Patrick Crotty came on as well, uh, Keen Galvin, they tried out everybody came on. Aaron Shannon came on, did really well, I thought, yeah, when he's, his usual in ball the in the air. Yeah. But he needs to be close to goal or he needs somebody running off him. His, uh, the legs aren't as, as good as they used to be, yeah. but uh, very strong in the air. So, you know, when he, he really needs a lively couple of lads around him, then same with yeah. Peter, of course, you know. 3-4 three, three, from Tony Kelly. Mm. I suppose at this point, uh, Column, you'd have to say that Galway, or the, sorry, the Dublin defence, the, the, we, we kind of split him, David, David Fitzgerald split him there a few times and he, he created a goal for Mark Rogers, he created a goal for Tony Kelly. Indeed. In that respect, mm. they were able to, to yeah, get no, through Yeah, Donald them. won a lot of first, time, first touch possession and, and, oh, and turned them as well and opened the things for them. Yeah, they, there's huge gaps down the middle. Of, uh, yeah. and we were, every, time we were, every time the ball went in, in our, any time we won possession that half hour line, there was a kind of a buzz from the crowd, there was an expected buzz because it seemed as if anything was on. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
I, I, uh, Kyle Malone there, he, I, I, he did an awful lot of work, he, he, he filtered back and he did a lot of work there as well, so, I, I, you know, the, I suppose leaving here we have to be really happy now after getting back, uh, you know, after the disappointment in the Munster final, as you said, yeah, like trying to get over that. I suppose the only thing I'd be worried about would be the injuries, you know, that, that's the only thing now, we need everyone back for Kenny. <coughs> it's going to be a, a seriously difficult uh, raising of the temperature I think you know and it's the same all Ireland semi-finals as we had last year they are Kilkenny got yeah. every so interesting to see how it goes this year absolutely uh, just to look at the other game now, uh, Tip and Galway, that, they, that went right down to the wire in the end. A game, Galway, I thought they commanded all the game, yet they found themselves just to pint up with maybe four or five minutes to go. Yeah, uh, to just put off the gas a little bit, I thought. <clears throat> they were winning an awful lot of very good position in their half hour line there for long periods and, and, and get a, a breaking tackles coming through strong and taking scores and the scores yeah. came and they were inching ahead and going ahead and going ahead and then uh, that stopped, that flow stopped. Well, in fairness, Tipperary improved that team. They had a much better team in the second half. Yeah. Their forwards were very, very poor. Of course, there's no threat coming out of the forward line. Morris was out of it. Helen wasn't able to, 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 to take to, Yeah, Helen you know, was a big gamble, I thought. He was, yeah. And the other left corner forward, what's his name? He, he didn't really shine either. So their inside line... Yeah, Q. Marco, yeah. Much. Thought second half they improved their team. Yeah. And they, 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 fought, yeah. they brought it right back, which was a big, yeah. big, big clawback now, and it showed in the yeah. end. Yeah. Tom Mannan had a poor Leinster final. So he was dropped today, he didn't like it obviously. He came off the bench there and he scored three points in the second half. He was the difference in the end of it. Yeah, yeah, there were two individual displays up there from Broadway yeah. that were fantastic. From a clearer point of view, I suppose, and maybe from a Limerick point of view, we didn't say anything today to be too frightened of any of what Galway yeah, will bring. Yeah, well, no, Galway no. physical though. Gee, yeah. I mean, they came out from the half back line at time, breaking tackles very easy, coming through the middle and popping a ball, the next man breaking a tackle and popping a the ball, they're physical. Very strong, when yeah. they do that, yeah. it's, 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 it's hard to stop them. Yeah. And they have a couple of really good individuals. Well, Con players. Connor Wheel and, uh, you know, sending again, man of the match performance. He might have had three goals. He, he a couple in the first half. One went off the keeper's leg. I think another one That's just right. went away from him. Yeah, the keeper yeah. made two body saves actually from him that yeah. could have gone anyway. Yeah. You know? So yeah, there's always yeah. a buzz when the ball goes anywhere near. Like even in the two guys, there's, yeah. there's a buzz when the ball goes into his corner. Yeah, we're very disappointed going away two weeks ago, but I suppose when we, when we leave here now, we, we're in a good position, we're in an Ireland semi-final, we're as happy as we could be, like, you know. We're back now, where we want to be, with yeah. a shot of being in, in, in Paul Park and yeah. Ireland final day. Um, I think uh, Lohan's doing a good job, I, you know, yeah. I think he's, he's gelling, he's, he's got him gelled and he's got uh, great preparation done, they seem to be playing a very nice fight, they mix it nicely, yeah. they do. They do lay off the ball when they have to, but they go long when they have to as well. So I, I you know, and their defence is good. So yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with doing yeah, it. Yeah, and he and it's, he emptied out the the bench and uh, Keen Nolan came back on there yeah, and slotted yeah, yeah. in there the corner back. Yeah, back in there. yeah, delighted to see. Him, you know. Absolutely, uh, yeah. So that's it, Cullen. We're looking forward to going to, I think we're going to Croke Park on Sunday week yes. to meet the cats. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be a redemption day. Agree. Yeah, we'll yeah. hopefully look forward to it. We'll yeah. be delighted for a chance Rowan. of redemption, I suppose, really. So yeah, I'm sure, be delighted so. for Brian now and the back yeah. of a lot of work done. Yeah, they, work they have serious work done and playing really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's absolutely marvellous. Yeah, but uh, that's it. We, the job is done today, but anyway. we can't ask any more of them. Okay. It was great to bump into you. <laughs> Tell Derek I said hello, Thank and uh, we'll see you. Please, God, up and crop back. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Colin